Pioneers are determined to reach their goals despite the odds against them. Myrtle Craig Mowbray, class of 1907, was a true pioneer, becoming the first black female graduate of MAC. She was one of only four black students on campus and the only female of the four. Mowbray received her diploma from President Theodore Roosevelt, who was the 1907 commencement speaker. Today, the Mowbray name continues to impact MSU students. The Myrtle Craig Mowbray Scholars Program, opened by application to all students, includes in its mission the support of students of color in the Honors College, who have demonstrated potential for leadership in promoting cross-cultural understanding. Mowbray Scholars receive $7,500 to use over two semesters preceding graduation for research and international engagement experiences. The name of my study abroad program is called Forensic Anthropology and Human Identification. I spent five weeks in total, four weeks in London, which was split up into two weeks in London, where we learned about um, identification. So we learned how to identify a or human remains from their, with their gender, their ancestry, and their age. And then we did a week in a bone lab in Bournemouth, which was fantastic. And then afterwards, we spent two more week at, weeks in London in which we learned more pathology-related things, such as gunshot wounds and blood tra force trauma. The perks of being in London really was, we were in the center of London. We were right next to King's Cross, which is station, which is featured in Harry Potter, and um, that is smack dab in the middle of London, and so you got to travel all over. We were in, there at a really good time. Buckingham Palace had just opened right at the end of my session, so I had to actually tour it. Normally it's closed during the school year. And then I also was there for the opening day of the BBC proms, which as a cello player, that was fantastic. Full page paper on our the research project we conducted while we were in Kenya. Um, and we also, but we also talked a lot about um, the ecology of Kenya and um, the issues surrounding that re in recent um, years, including like sustainability um, and uh, conservation. We went to three national parks in Kenya, um, Meru, Lake Nkuru, and the Masai Mara. Um, there were 12 of us on the trip, all of us ranging from sophomores to seniors to super seniors, um, all with zoology and our animal science backgrounds. Well, what I really liked about the school is you had all kinds of people there. Like you had us Americans there, then you had Canadians. There was a girl in my class who was from Brazil, um, and then we had two other girls. One was South Korean, uh, one was Japanese. Like there were just all kinds of different people here who were there to learn French and they all had different backgrounds. Some lived in Paris, some didn't. So it was, I don't know, it was really cool getting to meet so many people who were so interested in um, the French language and the French culture for so many different reasons. I was around to about eight weeks. I did an internship. So I interned at a place called Association La Métis and um, they basically um, help local independent artists um, develop themselves professionally and advance their careers. You can learn more about the Mowbray Scholars Program by visiting the Honors College website.